do exactly as I say. Show me your hands, both hands. Slowly walk towards me. Stop. Turn to your right and face that wall. Otherwise, your left. Anthony, over here. Anthony, behind you. Turn yes. Behind. Turn, turn, turn around. Not going to hurt you. That's the one. Put your hands against that wall. Stay exactly as you are. You understand me? What's your name? Anthony Bernison. Right, Anthony, this moment in time, mate, you're under arrest going on suspicion of murder, times two, which occurred on the fifth on the thirteenth of November twenty twenty two in Tye Farm, Hatton Regis. Okay, you do not have to say anything about it, it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questions so much later on in court and anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? Please! Please stay where you are now! Turn your hands on the floor! Hands behind your back now! Hands behind your back! Two people who carried out fatal attacks on two men after a baby shower party at a Bedfordshire pub have been given life sentences. Adam Finelli, 39, was fatally stabbed while Patrick Howard, 27, was paralysed from a stab wound and dragged by a car along the road. Anthony Benison must serve at least 38 years in prison for the murders a Luton Crown Court judge said Nicholas Papworth was handed a minimum 34-year term for murdering Mr Howard. He was cleared of murdering Mr Fanelli. Detective Chief Inspector Sam Carner of Bedfordshire Police said the level of violence used in this attack is among the worst and most shocking things I have ever seen as a detective. We welcome the outcome as justice served to two extremely violent and senseless murderers. The court heard a third man, Mason Jordan, aged 26, was stabbed eight times in the chest and neck, but survived. A third defendant, Mark Griffith, was cleared by the judge earlier in the trial. Mr Howard and Mr Jordan had been drinking before moving to the Crown Pub in Houghton Regis, near Luton on the evening of 12 November where a baby shower party was being held. The court had been told Mr Jordan who was very drunk threw a punch at Papworth. There was a brief fight with both ending up on the floor before they were separated by others including Mr Howard. Mr Jordan left the pub with Mr Howard and others to go home. Papworth who had slight bruising around his eye and a small cut to his lip, was furious, the court was told. Benison decided to drive his car to look for the two men, finding them in nearby Drury Lane and then drove his vehicle at speed at the group. Mr Fennelly, who knew Mr Jordan and Mr Howard, left his home when he heard shouting, screaming and revving of the engine. Benison then drove back to the Crown, where Papworth was waiting before leaving the pub again in his BMW, followed by Papworth in his Volkswagen. Both drove to the Tiff Farm Road, where the group now were driving their cars fast at the victims. Benison then stopped his car in the middle of the road and got out with a knife. In the fight that followed, Benison stabbed Mr. Fennelly twice in the chest before knifing Mr Mason. The jury heard Benison then ran up to Mr Howard from behind and stabbed him in the neck. The wound caused instant paralysis and he collapsed on the road. For good measure, Benison then kicked him in the head before walking away. Prosecutor Simon Dennison KC told the court. Papworth then drove straight over Mr Howard said Mr Dennison, and the car then dragged his body along the road for many metres before it fell free of the wheels. Benison, 25 of no fixed address, was convicted of two charges of murder, two charges of attempted murder, and three of attempted grievous bodily harm with intent. Papworth, 
33 of Amble Close, Houghton Regis, was convicted of one charge of murder, two charges of attempted murder, and two of attempted grievous bodily harm. He admitted perverting the course of justice by setting fire to his car. In a joint victim impact statement, Mr Howard's family and friends said, Our lives will never be the same again. How do you get over this? Mr Finelli's sister Kelly said his murder was needless. A stupid fight destroyed so many lives. Judge Michael Salmon said of the victims, both their lives were brutally cut short. Robbie Webber, senior prosecutor for the Crown Prosecution Service said, no words can describe the sheer level of violence Anthony Benison and Nicholas Papworth inflicted on their victims. Their actions have left the families and friends of the victims devastated and the community at a loss as to how something like this could have happened. I extend my deepest sympathies to the family and friends of Patrick Howard and Adam Finelli, who feel the loss of their loved ones so keenly. I hope the convictions and sentences will bring some solace to them. Please like this video, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.